Can I speak to Mr. Patrick Carpentier? Yes, speaking. All right. Can I ask you a couple questions about your racing career? Uh, yeah, who's this? This is Douglas Kenny. Yeah, and who, who are you with uh, Douglas? I'm with uh, Blue Flag Media, which is a movie studio and a book publishing group. I'm writing a book about racing. And I'm wondering if I can ask some questions about your career for a book I'm writing about racing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. My first question is, what was your favorite race victory? Uh, it was definitely uh, Michigan. Oh. I would say because it was the toughest one to get, and uh, it took a long time to uh, to get to it, and. Uh, finally got it at uh, Michigan and it was a fun uh, pass towards the end of the race and uh, definitely that's the most memorable one. Cool. Was it IndyCar or NASCAR? Uh, IndyCars. Yeah, it was the first one in uh, IndyCars. Ah, interesting. When it came to racing and in the garages, who was your best friend? Any series, whether it's NASCAR or IndyCar or CART, any will do. Uh, I'd say that uh, Elliot Sadler in uh, NASCAR is, uh, and Casey Kane, they're the ones, that they were my teammates and actually they, uh, they helped me the most. Ah, cool. Yeah, I, I heard that you drove for Evernham for about a year or so. So, who was your favorite competitor that you raced against? It was Paul Tracy. Uh, he was my teammate, too, uh, back then at Cleavers in uh, IndyCars. And, ah. uh, he was actually a great, uh, yeah, a great teammate, but the uh, greatest uh, competitor. Ah, cool. Paul Tracy should have won the 500 back in 2002, I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how did how did your faith guide you in your career? Uh, actually, I always uh, believed. I always uh, had faith, and uh, it was uh, tough at times. And uh, I always uh, kept believing in it, and uh, and praying and through the hard times. And when uh, Greg Moore uh, uh, was uh, killed in Fontana. Yeah. Kept going after that, and so yeah, pretty much all my life, actually. Cool. And uh, when when you almost got by Kevin Harvick at Montreal back in two thousand seven, <laughs> was yeah. that on your what was on your mind when you almost got by him? <laughs> yeah. And uh, what was racing in the rain like a year later at the same racetrack and racing with Ron Fellows? What was that like? It was pretty cool. It was raining uh, really hard. Ron Fellows was uh, up front and was behind him. And it's funny because Ron kept complaining on the, on the radio that it was raining too hard and we had to stop the race. And, and I kept complaining that, that we had to keep going. It was not raining hard at all because I was catching it. <laughs> so 
I don't blame him, you know. It's dangerous to yeah, race yeah, in the yeah. rain. He was right. I was wrong, but I wanted to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I was, uh, it was close. You know, I, I thought I almost uh, I was going to win it. But it's still great memories, though, to race uh, with these guys. And Kevin Harvick and Colin Edwards was there uh, the year he came and won it, I believe. And he was uh, cleaning up his... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, this is uh, this is the next to last question that I have. The next to last, who do you think is the best? Ne besides you, who do you think is the best road course ringer in the sport? Montoya was great, too. Yeah, I think he was. It was great everywhere. Yeah. And the final question that I have is, if 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 you ever have a chance for a full-time NASCAR ride again, like a full-time ride that's even better yeah. than Gillette Evernham Motorsports, would you take it even if you're retired right now? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I would definitely take it. Yeah, I did a couple of races last summer. Yeah, with and Go then, Green uh, Racing, I believe. Yeah, and without testing, and it was a small piece, but I'd say it's too competitive. You cannot do that. Also, um. If I were to All I'll right, well, thanks for calling. Just call back if you have any questions. I will, and thanks for the quick interview. You too, man.